Episode 1, Classical... Episode 1, Classical Decision Making. Mary sees two of her co-workers acting inappropriately and does not know how to handle the situation. She is torn between an ethical decision making and morals. She wants to do the right thing without hurting anyone's career. Is Mary telling her co-workers the only right thing to do? Kevin built a team with Sarah, Mark, and Mary. As an executive associate, Mary is only able to support the staff. However, she feels that Sarah does not make her feel like part of the team as much she, as she notices she makes Mark feel. Mary notices that Sarah and Mark take longer than usual lunch breaks and has even overheard Sarah inviting Mark over for a happy hour, not once including Mary in the invitation. One evening, she is, as she is getting ready to leave work, Mary caught Sarah and Mark hugging tightly and saw Sarah give Mark a passionate kiss on the cheek. Next day, Mary took the opportunity to tell Mark how unprofessional she thought it looked and she, as he and Sarah were being too close at work that evening and warned them to be careful. Mark told Sarah about what Mary said and Sarah confronted Mary, suggesting that Mary felt jealous of Mark and Sarah's relationship. Mary looks into the Title Seven of Civil Rights Act, which prohibits the harassment of an employee based on race, color, sex, religion, or national origin. Harassment violates federal law as it involves discriminatory treatment based on race, color, sex, religion, national origin, age, disability, genetic information, or because the employee opposed job description or, di or participated in investigation or complaint proceeding under EEO statutes. Mary brings this Title VII of Civil Rights Act to the attention of Kevin, the owner, and suggests that maybe they have a meeting to remind everyone in the office that harassment is prohibited, that employees should report such conduct promptly, and that a complaint can be brought straight to the top. Mary feels that she took the moral rights approach and feels uh, feels a little more conscious